In this video, we'll talk about the blame instinct. Blame instinct means that people are impatient with complex causation and tend to pin everything on one agent. It also means that people are quick to blame others than themselves. Our brains are wired to asymmetrically assign greater blame for negative behavior than praise for positive behavior. We are more likely to blame others than give compliments. Posted a racist tweet? Blame sleeping pills. When things go wrong, there is always plenty of blame to go around. Wise people assume responsibility, learn from the mistakes, and don't blame anyone else. People respect those who own up their own share of mistakes instead of blaming others. It can be frustrating and irritating when we try to have a conversation for problem solving, but our conversation partners always point a finger to others. They seemingly never run out of reasons that do not include themselves. A teacher with difficulty of classroom management may blame that students are bad, parents are irresponsible, behavioral specialists are unhelpful, the principal is not supportive, and the district has too many students living in poverty. Whenever a scandal or unethical behavior is reported in media, high-power people, when interviewed by reporters, usually vow to the public, we will get to the bottom of it. High-power people tend to blame those who are at the bottom of organizational hierarchy. In many scandals, it's usually the low-power people are put on trial. Actually, we should also get to the top of it. There are leaders who pretentiously seek people's input, but they don't listen, and they've already made their decision. Seeking others' input is only a setup for them. When their decision goes wrong, those who did not provide input are the victims of their leader's blame instinct. Their leaders would say, I asked for your advice, I trust you, and this is what it turns out. Those who did provide the input are the victims as well. Their leaders would say, I asked for your advice, and you are to be blamed because you did not tell me it could go wrong. People may feel anger rising up inside them, thinking, I told you exactly how it could go wrong, but you did not listen. People sometimes prefer to flip a coin as a way of avoiding responsibility, so they don't get blamed when things go wrong. The cognitive and emotional cost of making a decision may outweigh the benefits. A decision maker may prefer not to make a decision without having sufficient time and energy to think it through. It is possible the decision maker feel not entitled to make the decision. It is also possible that the decision maker takes uncertainty into consideration and anticipates a possibly undesirable outcome. Waiving the decision-making right may seem desirable in some circumstances, even though it typically increases the chance of a less desirable outcome. In our social life, if you blame others too much, people are not that motivated to hang out with you. When people hang out with you less, you noticed you become grumpy and blaming others more. When you are grumpy, you are less friendly. When you are less friendly, people want to hang out with you even less. It is a vicious cycle and you become more and more isolated. In this video, we talk about the blame instinct. People are impatient with complex causation and tend to pin everything on one agent, and people are quick to blame others. Now it is time for you to provide an example of the blame instinct and reflect on how it influences decisions made by you or the people around you.